What if the world we see, the chairs, the trees, the sky, even our bodies, is not the true foundation of reality, but a projection, a shadow cast by something deeper, invisible, and far more unified than we can imagine? David Bohm, one of the most visionary physicists of the 20th century, proposed something astonishing, that beneath the chaos and fragmentation of the visible world lies a hidden order, what he called the implicate order, from which all things unfold. And not just matter. According to Bohm, mind and matter are not separate realms. They are different expressions of the same underlying process. The true ground of all being, he wrote, is the infinite, the unknown. In this video, we'll dive into Bohm's brilliant and often overlooked theory, exploring how the universe may be a holographic unfolding of consciousness itself, and why understanding that could change how you see everything. David Bohm wasn't your average physicist. A student of Oppenheimer, and later a collaborator with Albert Einstein, Bohm was once seen as a rising star in the world of quantum theory. But his refusal to conform to scientific orthodoxy and his political outspokenness led him to exile from mainstream academia. Yet this outsider status gave him a kind of freedom. Bohm began asking questions most physicists avoided, questions like, what is reality actually made of? Why does the universe seem fragmented when everything is so deeply interconnected? And could consciousness be just as fundamental as matter? For Bohm, quantum mechanics didn't just suggest weirdness, it suggested wholeness. That what appears separate is, at a deeper level, inseparably one. This was not just a scientific insight, it was a philosophical and spiritual revolution. Bohm believed that much of humanity's suffering, psychological, societal, ecological, stems from a false sense of separation. Science divides the world into parts. Psychology divides the mind from the body. Society divides humans from nature. But reality, Bohm argued, is not made of parts, it's made of processes. Everything is flowing, interpenetrating, continuously transforming. He called this the unbroken wholeness of the totality. And yet we perceive fragmentation. We believe we are isolated individuals. We believe mind and matter are split. We believe what happens out there is unrelated to what we feel in here. Bohm saw this as not just a misunderstanding, but a delusion. The world appears fragmented because our thoughts are fragmented. And until we see through that illusion, we remain cut off from the deeper harmony of the cosmos. To explain this deeper reality, Bohm introduced two key concepts, the explicate order and the implicate order. The explicate order is what we see, the visible world of forms, things, and separation. But beneath it lies the implicate order, a vast, interconnected field in which everything is enfolded into everything else. Imagine a hologram. Each part contains the whole. That's how Bohm saw the universe. In the implicate order, space and time are not fundamental. They are unfolded projections. The explicate world is not separate from the implicate. It emerges from it like a wave from the ocean. Every particle, every event, is a local unfolding of a much deeper invisible reality. And crucially, consciousness is not outside this process. It's part of the flow and may even be the key to understanding how the implicate becomes explicate. In modern science, consciousness is often treated as a puzzle, or worse, a byproduct. But Bohm saw things differently. He proposed that mind and matter are two aspects of one unfolding reality. Not separate substances, not dualism, but two movements within a single process, much like a whirlpool and the river it's in. They appear distinct, but they're made of the same water. In this model, thoughts are not just brain activity. They are actual transformations within the implicate order. And just as matter can unfold into mind, mind can influence matter. This echoes what mystics have said for centuries, that consciousness and reality are not two. When you observe the world, you're not looking at something other. You're participating in a shared, dynamic field of becoming. One of the most compelling aspects of Bohm's vision is the holographic nature of reality. Inspired by the work of Karl Pribram in neuroscience, Bohm believed that the universe behaves like a hologram, where each part contains the information of the whole. In this model, 
Your consciousness is not confined to your skull. It is resonant with the entire cosmos. Just as a hologram can be reconstructed from a tiny fragment, you are a microcosm of the macrocosm. The implicate order holds the totality, past, present and future, enfolded together in potential. What we experience as time is the unfolding of that potential into the explicate order, and what determines what unfolds. That's where consciousness comes in, not as a passive observer but as a participant in the act of creation. Bohm believed that dialogue, true, open communication, was a way to access the implicate order in human relationships. When people suspend assumptions and listen deeply, something new emerges. He also saw synchronicities, meaningful coincidences, as glimpses of the implicate in action. Events that seem unrelated on the surface, but reveal hidden coherence beneath. For Bohm, reality was not static, it was alive, intelligent and holistic. And when we drop our rigid categories, we begin to sense that intelligence, not through calculation, but through insight. Insight, Bohm believed, is a sudden unfolding, a moment where the implicate touches the explicate. And perhaps the most profound insight is this, the mind is not in the body, the body is in the mind. Because mind is not yours, it's universal. So what lies beneath even the implicate order? Bohm called it simply the hollow movement, the dynamic infinite flow of becoming that cannot be captured in concepts. It is not a thing, it is not a place, it is pure potential, endlessly folding and unfolding itself. From this ground arises both matter and mind, particle and thought, world and self. The true ground of all being, Bohm said, is the infinite, the unknown, not the unknowable, but the not yet known, a mystery that calls us not to solve it, but to participate in it. And this changes everything. Because it means we are not spectators, we are expressions of the mystery. And when we look deeply into reality, we are looking into ourselves. David Bohm gave us more than physics. He gave us a new way of seeing the universe, not as a machine, but as a living hologram of mind and matter, endlessly unfolding. He showed us that the separation we believe in is an illusion. That consciousness is not outside of the universe, it is the canvas on which it is painted. And that you, yes, you, are not a disconnected observer, but a unique expression of the implicate order, now becoming visible in time. If this stirred something in you, share it below. Have you ever felt that reality was more like a field of meaning than a pile of atoms? And if you want to keep exploring the deep mystery behind everything, subscribe. Because the implicate is always unfolding, and part of it is you.